Rick B's Daily Vlogs. With San Francisco being a rich city of a lot of filming locations, a lot of beautiful spots, I'm in one particular area. They had quite a few different movies that were filmed here. Where am I? I'm at the Palace of Fine Arts. Let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Palace of Fine Arts, a lot of cool movies were filmed on location right here behind me. It goes all the way back from the 1940s to the 1950s to present time, 2019. But there's some movies that I'm gonna to touch on today that they did quite a few here, or, or when they filmed the movies, they had pretty big scenes here. So I'm only gonna to touch on a few. I did find some footage of some, and I found pictures of mostly the others. So I'm probably just gonna use pictures instead of footage, but I'm going to start off with an old Jimmy Stewart movie called Vertigo. Let's go. Let's go check this out. Let's go. Now this scene of Vertigo, you see Jimmy Stewart walking on this sidewalk right here. And as the camera pans, you can see the little water spout in the background in the scene. And then the camera does a nice little pan till it finally reveals they're at the Palace of Fine Arts. Then it cuts to them talking in a different area. But this scene again, famous for a lot of stuff. Check this clip out from Vertigo. And just in that movie Vertigo, there is a lot of film locations here in San Francisco. Not that far from here is Hopper's Hand. And in the beginning of the movie, there's a scene where she jumps off Hopper's Hand straight into the bay. But this location, again, iconic for film locations. We're going to make our way over to the middle. Right over there we see all those people because there was another movie that was filmed here in the 90s. Had a guy by the name of Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. Let's go ahead over there. While I make my way towards the rotunda part of the Palace of Fine Arts, check out these footage that I shot not that long ago. How I captured the beauty of this iconic San Francisco landmark. Check this out. movie The Rock with Nicolas Cage he has a scene where he finally sees his daughter for the first time. They're walking down this path. You can see 
the pillars in the background, then they turn right over here. And if you look behind Nick, um, Sean Connery, you can see these guys right behind his head. Then they make their way towards the middle, right over there. So they let you out? Yeah. That's good. What did you do? As Sean Connery and his daughter makes their way to talk, they sit down on a bench where you see that guy standing right there in the middle. A bench that they just put just for the movie. And you can tell it's just for the movie. And the way you can tell that that bench was right there. If you look behind this scene that I'm about to show you guys, as soon as they sit down, you can see that big green door right there in the background. You can see that there. They sit right here and they talk. Check out this clip. Those bench was just added on just for the movie, The Rock. And again, it was right here in the middle, right in the middle of the rotunda, right here. And if you make your way up to the top, it's a beautiful spot for a movie. But again, you can tell because of that green door in the background, they had a makeshift bench with a plant or a plant right behind it. Now in this next clip, still the same movie, The Rock, the cops are coming. They're coming down that road right over there. And you see one cop car come out from here, the another one coming from there, and another one coming from that direction. The way you can tell it was that direction, that big pot of plant in the background. This is the area. And again, they were coming down that road to get Sean Connery, who was sitting right over here. Check out that clip. Is this about you? This is the road right there that they were coming down before they made their turn right there towards the rotunda where that bench was that and it's gone erased from existence i wish they kept some of the movie props that was here like that bench and that potted plant in that scene looks pretty cool and they definitely did it to where it looks like it was part of the palace of fine arts and hollywood movie magic it wasn't here it was filmed here but that location where the bench and the pot potted plant was is not here and again there's a lot of benches as you can see behind me right over here right behind me over here there's a lot of benches so I wish they saved those benches and just have them saved for us to see and you know go gaga over but there's more stuff to talk about we're gonna go that direction now there's a lot of other movies that were filmed here the room again I did mention the rock vertigo Woman in Red did a quick scene here. So I Married an Axe Murderer. They had a nighttime scene where they were walking around. Um, you can see the rotunda in the background. Um, Murder in the First, Stigmata, Twisted, Jade. All those movies were filmed here. But I'm just touching on the ones where I can find clips. Clips of the movie that they did at the beautiful Palace of Fine Arts. Pretty cool. I'm gonna walk around towards the other area, towards where the little water spout is, because there was one movie that they shot a clip, and I couldn't find the video clip of it, so I'm gonna show you a screenshot picture of it that had to do with the little water lake, whatever it's called, over on that side. Let's go check that area out. And that one nighttime scene of So I Murdered an Axe Murderer, they're walking down this path right here again it was a nighttime scene couldn't really see it if i find a footage i'll throw it in right now seems to happen in almost every movie that's ever taken place in san francisco in the movie the bachelor with chris o'donnell they have this one scene you see the water spout right over there but they have this one scene where they're actually in a boat 
right here and you can see the palace or the rotunda in the background but they're in the boat and they're talking about marriage and why he should get married but I couldn't find a clip of that but check out the screenshot Again, a beautiful place to do a lot of movie making here in San Francisco. A lot of other places in San Francisco people can go to Golden Gate Bridge, but this right here, iconic. And as soon as you see the movie, you know it's San Francisco. And I say that it's pretty cool. All right, guys, that was a nice, quick tour around the Palace of Fine Arts just to show you guys little clips little scenes that was shot here again I only used a few movies not a whole lot I couldn't find a lot of footage online or even on YouTube to share with you guys but then yes footage were we're here pretty cool you guys again the beautiful Palace of Fine Arts right behind me right there beautiful filming location here in San Francisco again bunch of filming locations someone did mention the other day maybe do an Alfred Hitchcock filming locations I already did one which is vertigo so I'm definitely gonna do a vertigo one which is you know a good movie if you haven't seen the movie Alfred Hitch Hitchcock's vertigo check it out a while ago when I first started vlogging I did a birds one I went all the way to Bodega Bay showed you guys the school showed you guys little areas about Bodega Bay that I did. So I did do a Hitchcock one already. Vertigo is probably one that I'm going to redo or do again. We shall see. I do have a couple in mind. Big Trouble in Little China. Chinatown. Little small area. I already visited the Ross Alley. And if you guys remember that fight scene in Big Trouble in Little China, that's where that little alley was. Ross Alley. But we'll get to that as we get going. Today was just about Palace of Fine Arts. Talking about the rich movie history that Palace of Fine Arts had. And it's right behind me. There's the rotunda. Where's the rotunda? Right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I am back in San Francisco and I love it. I want to thank the guys from Beach Blanket Babylon for hooking me up with tickets just because they did a vlog about it yesterday. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll definitely go check it out. That's about it. More movie locations coming up the next couple weeks, the next couple days, maybe even tomorrow's vlog. We shall see. It's cold, it's windy here in San Francisco. Miss the heat of the Pacific Northwest, but hey, what do you expect? We live in a cold city like San Francisco. We do. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. If you're new here, hit that notification bell. It tells you when. I put up an upload when I put up new content also tells you things that I'm doing around San Francisco if you don't hit that notification button just come to my channel every day I put out a different vlog every day that's why it's called the daily vlog thumbs up and here from the Palace of Fine Arts I'm gonna say what I always say thanks for watching guys vlogs ended go in peace Can't go wrong. Beautiful place to visit. If I was a tourist, I'd probably be doing exactly what they're doing right there. Don't forget to smile and say cheese. I made this.